uh, end uh, seems to be clear. But I believe that they also have their right to be heard. They've got their right to be represented, and they've got their right to respond to the uh, petitioners. In my view, a lot of the grounds that were raised by the petitioners were frivolous. In fact, those petitions should have been dismissed by the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee. In the Senate, a senator for Kirinyaga, Senator Methu, brought a motion before the House asking the House to uh, censure the commissioners, to carry out investigations. We spoke to the leadership of the Senate and said this is not the way to go to heal a country that has just come from a very, very painful election. And Senator Methu agreed, and Senator Cheriot agreed to pull down that uh, motion. How I wish that the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee of the National Assembly would have refused to be used to settle political and personal scores. But I want to wish the two commissioners well, and uh, my defense of the two commissioners is not because they belong to IBC, not because they belong to my tribe, not because they are friends of my friends, but because I believe that defending them protects institutions and entrenches the rule of law and also helps to clip the kind of intentions that we have been seeing with this current government of trying to emasculate and to capture any institution that they come across. Let me read a bit of feedback, then we come and do a few more questions before we wrap up the interview. This is what Kenyans are saying online. Remember, 2242 is the SMS line, and the hashtag is Newsnight. These are your thoughts. All right, here we go. Uh, Chester Nyantika says, the good thing with history is that it's always fair. It cannot be compromised or bribed as it is with some public office holders. Kenyans will one day know what really transpired. Chester Nyantika there. Uh, Fred Okango, you say it's an act of vengeance against the Cherera Four who legally aren't liable for anything they did in good faith in the performance of their duties. Fred Okango there. Um, Kiberenge uh, says the IBC theatrics are more about 2027 than 2022. If we were to go down the memory lane and ask ourselves why 2002 elections was the most democratic and peaceful, then we may be persuaded to take the route of political parties seconding commissioners. Okay, and I'll read a bit more feedback uh, before we wrap up. Senator, so what, what's going to be happening tomorrow? Tomorrow we will be converging and having a conversation with Kenyans about their experience with this government. It is four months since we had the elections. It is three months since uh, President Ruto took office. He made a raft of promises to Kenyans, told us that uh, the price of unga will be 100 shillings once he gets to office. It is still at 200 shillings. He told us the price of fuel would be tamed. It has been dropping or going up by one shilling every other 14th of the month. He told us that there would be enough food for Kenyans. He's busy bringing genetically modified food into the country. He told us the price of sugar will go down. They are busy bringing in duty-free sugar into the country. He told us that our children will have a predictable future and an education system that will propel Kenya to the next level. You have seen the policy confusion around CBC. It is not just about the Cherera Four. We are going to have a broad conversation about the state of affairs of this nation because we are elected to be the voices of the people. Mm -hmm. We are not doctors who should be carrying out surgery at Kenyatta Hospital. We are politicians who speak on behalf of the people. And that is what we are going to do in Kamkunji. And it is exactly the same thing the president and his deputy has been doing in churches. What we have decided is that we are not going to desecrate churches and turn shrines into places for pouring political vitriol. Every Sunday, we expect some insults from the Kenya Kwanza side. And unfortunately, the insults come from churches. I want to tell the church to encourage politicians, if they want to have political discourse, let them do what we in Azimio have done. We have given notice to the nation, given notice to the police. We have said we are going to meet in Kamkunji. What, we what are time? going to have a political conversation. Will be people will start flocking in at 10 uh, in the morning, and it will be a day-long thing. If you want to do politics, call a political meeting. Do not hide behind churches. Okay. Do not go to shrines. Do, do not desecrate altars. Using those altars to insult other political players and to uh, you know, intimidate other political players.